PKA episode 487, two guests today, Dick Dan Masterson and Anthony Cumia. Kyle? A couple of sponsors tonight, ExpressVPN and Goat.com. We'll get to them later in the show, but yeah, it should be a good one. There it is. Well, 11 more, seconds gentlemen. into the good stuff. That's how long. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't take five minutes. Two of the most popular fuckers we've ever had on. And it's been a hot minute since we've spoken to Mr. Kumia. Less so for Dick. But Anthony, it looks like you're in a totally different place. Or are you just in a different room of your estate this are time? Are you in a steakhouse right now, Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> steakhouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you're in a Ruth's Chris right now. <laughs> a nice a, steakhouse. Mm, it's the sizzle. Yeah. Is that a diploma? A million you? dollar locker of meat back there, boys. Check it out. <laughs> what is that yeah, framed I, thing behind your head? Is it's it? it's definitely not a diploma. <laughs> okay, trust me on that one. Uh, I, I, I think it's it's a, a piece of artwork, like one of those uh, oldie time castles from England or something. I did not decorate this room. This oh. is my office, and I just said. I want it to look like Don Corleone's office, kind of <laughs> dark wood, very, um, uh, you know, oldie time. Uh, so that's what they did. Yeah. I'm doing yeah, it. I don't know. No, the lights at my girlfriend streams uh, her playing Sims. So, really? so that's like her thing. Bunch of lights. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure isn't that game a little too old for her? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, she Jesus. graduated. It took me a minute to get that. <laughs> yeah, she's she's actually been playing that goddamn Animal oh. Crossing. Uh, Hope played Sims really when she was twelve. Dude. Also, have you been chewed out during Animal Crossing to move furniture around while you're playing? I made the mistake of trying to play her game, and she goes, "Hey, can you just go in there and move some furniture around?" I said, "No." That's, that wouldn't no, fly in real life. No. It doesn't fly in the game. The music <laughs> will drive you nuts because a lot of times I'll just sit on the couch in the living room and she'll play on the, the regular, the living room television and you'll hear the music and it's just this monotonous acoustic guitar kind of thing. And uh, it drives you crazy. And I don't know how she plays it. It looks boring as all hell. Dude, yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah. my, my wife and daughter are addicted to Animal Crossing. They're playing it all the time, right? And, yeah. and they tell me these stories about Animal Crossing, and they give me tours of their virtual museum, yes. their new saber to tiger, <laughs> the bass and mackerel or whatever. They, and their stories are not good. Like my stories about Escape from Tarkov and my Bitcoin generation, which I'm sure is compelling. <laughs> but, Dude, that is so true. I, I, oh, yeah. I have to take tours of the, the aquarium every so often. <laughs> yeah, I had that. <laughs> it was so big and i'm like and then she's got to walk through the aquarium yes. to the tank that has the big fish <laughs> <laughs> She just looking at <laughs> I she thought the tour was lie. over, and then comes the turtle section. Like, hey, there, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing worse than getting section. two minutes into a chick story and being like, "Oh, there's not going to be a punchline. Like, there's, there's not going to be a twist that's funny. It's just your oh, genuine <laughs> turtle habitat." <laughs> Interpersonal problems that she has with other islanders who are fake. <laughs> Yeah. No, 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 no. There's. I'm not hearing work stories about fake computer people <laughs> in her person. She's like, oh yeah, I, I talked to her today, and she was very rude with me. I'm like, bitch, that's a fucking computer program. <laughs> a literal NPC. Like it's just programmed to give like one of five feedback options. So. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be playing that game. It is right. that seems to be causing a lot of frustration for some men. You know, the, the <laughs> Animal Crossing stories in this quarantine. Are any guys right. playing this game? Like I'm sure they are. I, I've heard enough about the game that it must be huge. If I was single, played. I think I'd pick up Animal Crossing. That's where the chicks seem to be. <laughs> it, it's it's where you and you can go to other people's islands. It's it is an interactive kind of thing. It's it's a little um, it's a little lame though because you're not really <laughs> interacting much. You just go to their island and do what you would do on your own island while they're standing there. It's not is this really just Farmville interactive again. Yeah, know. yeah, it's another one of those type of um, addictive uh, crack-like yeah. level-up things. Yeah, that's not that's definitely not my type of game. You've been Anthony, haven't you been playing some VR? That uh, what's that VR game that everybody's loving? They're saying it's like oh the my best god, game Alex, ever. the Half Life um, oh, I heard VR of kind of uh, sequel, if you want to call it that. Yeah. I loved Half Life when it first came out. That was in 1998-99. I got a, a computer just to play that game, and it was life-changing for me. I named my company Half-Life uh, Incorporated. Uh, that's my company's name because I just thought it was 
one of the most amazing things I'd ever seen. And then it <laughs> dropped off the face of the earth. They didn't come up with a, a really good sequel. They had some kind of add-ons and whatnot. I liked some of the um, some of the other uh, uh, multiplayer games that came out of the Half-Life world, but uh, nothing. And then this Alex game comes out in VR. Now, I've been playing VR since the original Oculus uh, like you were a guinea pig for Oculus. You had to buy it, sign a disclaimer thing yeah. that said you wouldn't talk about it. And, uh, yeah. and it was, you'd have to, you had to change code in the games in order to even play it uh, yep. on, on VR. And it was very complicated, but I, I thought the potential was there. And then when they got a little more consumer friendly, you really saw the potential, but they hadn't gotten there yet. This game really said, Oh shit, they figured out VR and how to incorporate games into a virtual reality kind of world. Because a lot of games don't translate well to VR. VR is a lot of experiences. Hey, you want to see what it feels like to be on a mountain or you know, throw some darts at, at something, but it's not a real game. This is a game. It's immersive. It feels like you're you're in it. And uh the weapons work great. The interface is uh is better than any other VR interface I ever played. I was totally shocked by it. They again, Valve like knocked it out of the park. I was going to ask which headset do you have? Which uh, which which? I uh, have all of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got the original I, Vive. I do. I, I got the I, original I, Vive, and I remember having to alter config files and stuff to make everything look right for for various games. Yeah, you'd ass. have to shove a shitload of stuff in Notepad and then find that one little line and then put it back in. It was it was not an easy thing. It wasn't consumer friendly, that's for sure. Um, Oculus has done well with uh, what's their standalone version where there's no wires. Yeah, I got Quest. Quest yeah. is pretty <laughs> good, not- but um, at this point, you still really need like a monster system. Yeah. yeah, I've got a decent computer. I'm thinking about upgrading just because of that game. It's <laughs> Felix, right? Uh, um, Half Life Felix. Alex. Alex. Okay. Alex. Yeah, because everybody I know who's played it is just raving about it, just like you just did. They talk about how amazing it is, and they don't want to spoil the story because I guess the story is so fun. And yeah, the story's great. It's it's um they don't do. Here's what VR was doing for a long time too: just jump scares. Like yeah, and and I get Imagine. it. It's hilariously funny. Like when you're walking through a hallway, a dark hallway in a creepy game in VR, there's something really visceral about your fear. It's not like when you're looking at a monitor. A monitor, mm-hmm. you could go like this and you're not looking at it anymore. Yeah. You, when you know something's behind you in a VR game, you don't want to turn around because <laughs> it's there and you'll see it and it'll scare the <laughs> shit out of you. So, Have you ever played uh, the Brookhaven experiment? No. It's uh, it's it's what you just described. It's you don't move around a lot. You're you're kind of just in one area, but there's enemies coming at you. It's super dark. Your flashlight has like oh, 20 the, seconds of battery. So dude, you the to like, flashlights are the worst. <laughs> you've got like a pistol and a flashlight, and the flashlight has 20 seconds of battery, maybe. And there's one level where you're in like a sewer, and so there's there's like east east and west pipe, a north and south pipe, and one that's straight up, and spiders are crawling oh. toward you, the size of Volkswagens. <laughs> <laughs> It's legitimately scary. Kyle, is that yeah. the one where you were talking about this a couple years ago and you're like, yeah, I, uh, I kind of fucked up my hand. I walk, must have walked to the corner of my wall and I hit it real hard with the wand I, in it. I got I so scared of the spider. Took, took most of the skin off my knuckles fucking <laughs> punching a, a fucking wall. Yeah. The way, the way you get completely turned around in VR too, because I'll be reaching for something and hit something and I won't even know what it is. I'm like, wait, I'm facing my computer monitor. And then you realize you're halfway across the room yeah. <laughs> hitting like a vase. You don't know where you are. It really does screw up with your uh, your senses. It's fucking cool. I, I look, I'm i looking it. forward to where Love it is it. in 10 years. Like it's, it's yeah, really yeah. good now in 10 years. Like maybe we're just fucking plugging a jack into our fucking yeah. ear. <laughs> we're in like the plasma <laughs> screen yeah. technology of VR. It's going to get so much better so quickly. Yeah. Does, uh, well, the good thing like, about... Is that like Alex exercise? Like, are you sweaty afterwards? Are you like, how much work is it? That's another thing they did really well. You could literally play the game sitting down Mm. or you could be standing. Um, There's different. And I like this. They did different ways of using the interface to move. So you could use the uh, little joystick on the, the hand controller as a way to move, or you could do the uh, transport 
where you pick a spot on the floor, hit, and you're instantly there. Mm. Uh, they have one where you snap. They have one where you gradually go. And it's all to try to contain that motion sickness that a lot of uh, yeah. people feel with uh, the VR. Uh, I get that with flying games, which I love. I mean, when you're in a, a battle in a fighter and you turn the plane and you're looking at an enemy over your shoulder like this, you start just getting nauseous instantly. <laughs> it's your body is saying, uh, no, this doesn't jibe. My inner ear and my eyes aren't mixing together. So I'm going to make you vomit. I wonder <laughs> if Dramamine would help. Like, like say if you took something specifically for motion sickness before you played. I only got it a few times, like motion sickness from playing the game. And it, if I played for Certain like an games. hour and a half, two hours, especially with something where I'm really moving around. I don't know. There was some game where there's just targets flying at you continuously and you're literally ducking and jiving and, and juking and shooting and stuff. And I would That's get- what another good thing. That's why I'm saying this game put it in a whole nother category because they it's not one of these just run and gun games where, yeah, that big heavy thing on your head isn't conducive to a, a, a real first person shooter like like playing modern warfare on it would be insane. You, you'd be sweating. The thing would be falling off your face. It's very story oriented, Alex. And and the scenery is all beautiful. So it's not like in between the action, you're bored. Uh, it, it really works well in that respect. The action is great. Uh, it's more of a strategic game than you would think, uh, more so than a shooter. And those are really conducive to having that thing on your head uh, the whole time. Yeah. I've been thinking very seriously about upgrading to the the latest Vive, whatever it is, the Index or something. I don't even know what it's called mm. anymore. I'm but, the only uh, bitch in this call that doesn't have any of them. I need to get on. <laughs> no, I'm with you. Yeah, I don't have it. No, I, Woody, I thought you had one for some reason. No? All right. Thank you, Woody. That makes me feel good. <laughs> Dick, I didn't hear your words. I said the VR porn will change your life, Taylor. You got to get on that right away. That I seems saw, like, how am I going to go back I, to the real thing after that? You, it seems too you good. You can't even, you can't. I have my hood on all the time while we're having <laughs> I just say, honey, I'm answering emails over here. Don't worry. I, just have- <laughs> I, saw, I saw Hitomi Tanaka was filming a VR shoot and I walked the next, I put my Who's phone that? away and the next thing I knew I was in Best Buy buying one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who, who is, who is doing a shoot? Hitomi? Don't pretend like you don't know who I'm talking I about. I don't know who you're talking about. Guys, but I know it's uh, uh, probably a Japanese girl with big tits, right? Yes. <laughs> Unicorn. Tits. Yeah. Look at- <laughs> All right. You know, that must be a pretty good product. Uh, <laughs> 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 Check that out. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, the porn is really kind of kind of frightening. <laughs> it's uh, the, they, the, the, the girl will come up to you and kind of whisper in your ear something and between the audio and the visual and it's so 3d you can't describe vr to somebody <laughs> it's like trying to describe a color um, yeah. but but and you can't show it on a monitor like you can uh when you twitch a game it just doesn't work uh when you're wearing that hood and and you're immersed in it and there's a girl in front of you like that it is just a weird experience it feels yeah. very strange, like very realistic. There was it's some clip realistic. I saw of, of a guy complaining about the VR porn. <laughs> and appara- <laughs> apparently the his complaint was like, the the ratios are all off. Nothing looks like real sex. And like it was a screen cap of what was happening. And it was like the the naked woman like walking towards him. And she looked like she was 11 feet tall. And he was like staring at her coming towards him. Is there <laughs> integration was, between it and porn. something like an yeah, auto maybe. blow? Because that's where you want to be. Like, like you want to see it and feel it and see. Right, right. You have to do something like that. I think the real future of it is that a couple will be able to track each other's movements, but just have a different body in front of you. So if you wanted to have sex <laughs> with with a celebrity. That person is now your significant other, and you get the feel aspect of it. Unless you know they're really wide. <laughs> Why does it matter if I eat another box feeling... of cheese? You're gonna fuck Antonio Banderas tonight. <laughs> right? I, I feel yeah, like yeah. I'm getting cucked by Chris Helmsworth in this situation. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I think that would that would be a logical progression to the uh, porn thing, where you know a, a couple can uh, play together. Imagine how many off. relationships that would destroy. Oh, <laughs> the, 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 the fabric of society be falling apart. Because <laughs> you can't even there take no women. You just disgusted. Down. You're wearing the hood to breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> you like, try and come in and lie to your girlfriend about watching porn. You still got the rings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
No, I told you, I'm getting real. You're buying like decoy telescopes and things. And them, and them astronomy. Uh, shit, yeah. Oh, bitch, I'm looking at the Big Dipper. <laughs> I'm not beating off the big titty Japanese girls who are yeah. tall. Because if you big, lived in that world long enough, you could start believing it was the real thing. And then there'd be that moment of, oh, no, what have I done? There's this really 